I'm a huge fan of screenshots and therefore I'm a huge fan of Skitch. I think it's an awesome way to communicate over the web. When you want a problem solved or if you're trying to help somebody out, it's always nice to include a screenshot and it's even better if you can use some type of markup on that screenshot. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to do that. I'm gonna click on Skitch here and it will open up the app and you can see all of these different options right away are presented to you. So what I wanna do is I wanna click on this one right here screen snap. But before I do that, I'm going to pull up a real life example of a way that I might use Skitch. So here we have uh, pinchofyam.com. If I scroll down here, an issue that we've been having is that we, sometimes the header font looks a little bit different. So you can see this uh, font here is different than this font here. And I want to communicate that to our developer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to Skitch. I say that I'm going to want to take a screen snap and I have these nice little crosshairs that it gives me. And what I can do is I can crosshair from one point to another point, and that will give me a screenshot. So I'm gonna grab in the top left corner here, and I'm gonna keep holding down on my mouse, and I'm gonna go to the bottom right corner here. And then when I let go, it'll take a screenshot, and I'll look at the info here. It'll give me the width and height. That all looks good. I don't wanna adjust this at all, so I'm just gonna say capture. And you can hear the little click and that has captured the screenshot. Now, once in Skitch, we can go ahead and we can add some information to this to clarify our point. So first I'm gonna click on the arrow and I'm gonna to wanna to make this a little bit bigger. So what I did there is I clicked on the line tool down here or the line icon and that's for the different sizes. You can also change the color if you want but I like to stick with the regular red. And I'm gonna go ahead and create an arrow here as well as an arrow here. And after doing that, I'm gonna click on the font icon or the text icon, and I want this to be a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna say how it should be. That's for this header here. And I'm gonna say the incorrect uh, font, because that's not the type of font we wanna use for the title or the header here for the post. It's too bold. And after that, um, this is just gonna be a basic example, so I'm done. If you wanted to, there are some other options here, like you can add these type of uh, little pins, or you can do kind of freehand drawing like this, which I don't want. I'm gonna say undo, or you could do like a box, like if you wanted to box around something. But I don't want those either. I just want this basic, how it should be, and then the incorrect font. After doing that, if we wanna send this to somebody, all that we need to do is go down here, grab that little PNG uh, tab, and then drag it to our desktop. And that will put it right where we want it to be. And now we have a really easy to understand screenshot with some additional markup on it. So whoever we are sending this to will have a better idea of what we're talking about. So that's it, Skitch. It's a free application. It's really powerful and will help you communicate better when you're trying to communicate over the web with developers or people you're trying to help troubleshoot different issues. <laughs>